Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, the show where we play games, talk game design, and make you feel great with, uh, I don't know. <laughs> with That's... superb commentary. I, with... that is all I got. <laughs> We're back playing more Banner Saga 2. Preview. Uh, preview. This is still the preview build, even though today is, is, the, official release? is the official release. So we don't know if our build is going to turn into the full build or not, but we're technically, we, we're playing this at like midnight, so the new build hasn't been released to us exactly. <laughs> to yet. us. This is, um, this is the pre okay. But we're, we're going to hopefully play through the rest of what the preview has to offer, and mm. then after that, we're going to keep playing the full game, because why wouldn't we? So today, since today is the official release and everything, you should go back and check out episode <laughs> one, which is going to be somewhere up here that Chris will put. You can click on that guy, mm -hmm. and uh, cool. And then uh, you can watch that and then catch up. <laughs> catch up. <laughs> cool. We're going to go talk to Avon. Yeah, last we left off, I believe we were hanging out with Sven the trainer. Sven the trainer. And just ignoring Avon this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you watch for a moment as Avon, Juno's apprentice, and the mender found uh, nearly dead at Ridgehorn, moves his staff in a complex pattern repairing some armor what as you ass. do not a bad festival trick right uh, oh yeah I forgot think, who's I think talking. you were rook uh, I've seen worse <laughs> you can be even go for it and I've seen better like yours back in Bo's guard with stopping Bellower. <laughs> he's British I don't know man <laughs> for all the good it did I... <laughs> we saved quite a few didn't we actually I don't want to talk about that that is kind of ah, what we were going for with Rook. So. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. But let me say one thing. What you're doing, leading these people to safety? What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? <laughs> Your cursor was covering it. <laughs> that's really all that matters. That's really all that matters. Yeah, I keep hearing that. <laughs> None of us know what's coming. These people are the only ones who know we can save... We, we, the only ones we know we can save right now, it's that simple. I'm also fumbling over my words. Ivan picks up the repaired armor, hitting it with his staff to test it. <laughs> Just crumbles. And cracks it in half. <laughs> Wait a fuck. <laughs> I better check on the fighter who was wearing this. <laughs> he, he, well, he, he did have be... to fix the armor, so I imagine <laughs> the fighter probably needs some checking on. Um, Kakapow, unless we left off with our heroes, we're probably really good. We have 35 renown. Want to see if we can update somebody? Yeah. Yeah, I think we do have a bunch that we can rank up at the very least. Let's see. Check Alio. For a second there, I saw Nid, and I was like, wait, a what? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, all right. So let's go ahead and take her out, and then him out, and then all oh, Moger. Yeah, you got beat up pretty hard. Which one was Gris again? His ability was the battering ram and return the favor. Okay, so he's basically old Ivor. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, when he had an arm. <laughs> uh, let's go him. Let's put in some hack in action and then Rook. Trig V. Uh, I mean, I don't, we I don't might really as well put Rook in because he still is our best guy. Um, Without a doubt. And... I'm all about the min-maxing with our best players. That's fair. Cool. I like Ilya. I'm going to keep him in. And then Rook's a powerhouse. Uh, cool. We'll have him go last. That way he can run up and use his ability and have everybody attack the same guy and all that jazz. Truth. It'll be good. It'll be good stuff. It'll be good stuff. Do that. Do that. Good. Done. Well, we need to rank up some peeps. Oh, right. Uh, 35 renown. Gil? Sure. Well... I wonder if there's a lot of chance for him to die in this game, too. I like, too, that they gave you the benefit of the doubt and that he's alive in this. Yeah, actually, that's a good point, is that we really haven't seen, like... We haven't been presented with a lot of scenarios in which we could permanently lose characters yet. Um, so I'm curious yeah. to see how they, how they handle that with the characters that survived the last game. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, just because you survived book one doesn't mean you're going to survive the next yeah. book. We've all seen Game of Thrones. <laughs> or read. Now merging books and shows. And games. And plus, I've really barely seen it. Just just enough. Just enough to know what's going on. You've never seen Game of Thrones? I've seen the first, like, season and a half. That's about all I got. Missing out, man. Uh, I don't want to use it. I want to use Iron instead of Gris. I've changed my mind. All right. We could rank up more guys. I mean, we do have 26 renowned. I 
just felt like it was a lot to... Plus, what if we find a cool item? I don't know. Okay, let's see. I mean, that's a fair argument, but we may not need the items as much if our guys aren't dying. Cool, so we can give Hack and Forge ahead or Tempest. I mean, uh, I'm really a fan of Tempest, but... It, so it depends, right? If you feel like you're going to be using um, Krumer a lot, for example... Then uh, would it be better just to have Hack in with his... his... It, it, exactly. Especially... So... I don't know how you you play a hack and how you played hack in, in in your main playthrough, um, but I generally make him my heaviest hitter. Yes, yeah, super hacking man. Super hacking, that's, absolutely. That's what he does. And, and so I feel like Tempest is better for him because it just means he's going to be dealing that much more damage to everybody, and it's less likely that his health is going to be depleted so low that Forge Ahead starts becoming useful. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Well, does he? Can he get a new ability? He, I mean, he already has, like... Oh, right, the yeah. crazy troll stones one. Um, I kind of want to see what that does, to be perfectly honest. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty curious, too. Okay, it says... The mender pulls up the stone shards out of the ground to block the path of enemies. The shards block movement and force... Uh, the, the, their force deals, deals one damage to so, adjacent tiles. So it sort of so is, is like the... Um, what do they call Like those, those pointed sticks... Uh, like the Pungy sticks, maybe I the ones that we saw in the beginning of the game. In the very oh, first battle. right, yeah, I, maybe. Except temporary, right? It sounds like they kind of go away. Uh, yeah, I think it the only lasted for a turn. But it counts. Some of our heroes are injured and need to rest in camp. Nah. Well, d since when did you care, Rook? You're <laughs> supposed to be jaded. <laughs> you look at the food freshly placed in the supply cart. What is this all about? You ask, go to Leaf. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the clansmen are trying to help as much as possible now. She does. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit backward. Whenever, Whenever they can. <laughs> Forage for nuts and berries or fish and hunt. She, uh, she hands you a piece of fruit. You may know how to fight, but they can keep us alive by keeping us fed. So yeah, it just said clansmen foraging plus 30 supplies. So that was not a thing so before. So it just happened. Yeah, that's not a thing that happened. Before you had to go, you always had to buy supplies. Yeah. This was never a factor. Well, it usually happened in a scenario in which you have to make a choice, right? Right. The, there was a berries one, actually. So I, I wonder if that's actually like an, a random event. I wonder if that happens every time. I, I mean, it, it seemed, uh, the description sounded like it's going to happen quite a bit. That's true. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, we also do have six, six a thousand people to take care of, so that's maybe true. that's why it's happening. Yeah, that's true. Shouts from one of the rear long ships grabs everyone's attention. The quick construction is proving faulty on the ships is taking, uh, the ship is taking on water fast. With dredge on a bank and all other ships almost at capacity, you consider your options. Bank the long ship for repairs. Have the clansmen board other ships, dump supplies to make room for other long ships, ask shipwrights for advice. Meh? Sure. Ask for advice. I want to see what the NPCs have to say. We'll need her out of the water, says one. Nonsense! Just plug the holes with some cloth and tar for now, says another. As they argue, clansmen begin jumping from the sinking <laughs> vessel, grabbing for ropes and extended oars. Most make it aboard other ships, but not all. Aww. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, uh, you... I guess that's why you decide to make your own cheese, man. Make I mean, your it... own decisions for now on. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I guess that does follow suit with the last game where it was like, it's all or nothing. Yeah. And we we gave them. Well, that's ground. how guild eyes too, or eagle eyes. If you're like, hmm, let's let's tell people how to. No, oh no, he's dead already. <laughs> uh, a crowd begins to cheer from one of the long ships as a man struggles with his fishing net. As he uh, has catch uh, nears the surface, some voice concerns. You're close enough to make out a large shape and what looks like fur or hair in the net. Fire an arrow into the mass. Keep watching as the man hauls it out. Release your net. What has he just caught? What? It's probably Girl. a dead body. I. It's got to be a varl. A varl or. We're gonna we're gonna fish it out. I want to find yeah, out. What it is. Yeah, yeah. Keep watching as the man hauls it out. We're probably gonna lose this guy. Oh. Bear cub shouts the man with the net. Long dead. What's this? What's it mean? Superstition blows across the ships like a gale. Talk of plague and famine make eyes go wide. You notice Bulwark on a bow of a ship, staring at her uh, at the cub with brooding more than usual. Ooh. 
Oh, jeez, man. man. Back to back, two things that declined our morale. Jeez. We started this, I don't think, were we at normal? Yeah, we were at normal. So, I, at least it took two events to bring us down one full rank. Yeah. But a desperate looking lot of adults in Varl stand on the shoreline waving you down. You probably look similar, you probably look uh, similar going anywhere with Ivor. They look <laughs> hungry, but can they be trusted? Toss supplies to them as you pass, but don't stop. Slow the boats and ask their needs. Ignore them. Be nice. Our morale is low. Maybe I'll cheer up our people if we help somebody out. Or we'll get screwed. I don't know. Yeah, we could slow them. I mean, I'm not really afraid of them, right? Like, we're pretty intimidating. We have a lot army. of people. I think we ask them what they need. Yeah. The basics, Varl says. Food, safety, trade routes are empty. Or the two dozen humans half look like they've been seen battle. Here's food. You'll have to find safety elsewhere. Come aboard. You have food and safety. Okay. We've got too many to care for as is. Mm, we can get extra people, but then we'll I have mean, okay, questionable here, here, among us. Here's the consideration. Mm -hmm. This could actually be an opportunity to get another uh, character. character. It's not... Uh, it, it's like it a 50-50 shot. It could be another shot. character, a chance for a character to die. Because of that, I think we do it. Yeah, okay. We'll find out what happens. <laughs> Come on, you'll have food and safety. <laughs> Everyone carefully files in uh, onto the couple of the less burdened ships and starts eating. Clip, the Varl says, which you which you take his name and his appreciation. Oh, maybe. I mean, maybe. you don't really name a character unless they're going to come around. It's true. Plus one Varl. Like, literally, just one <laughs> Varl. I mean, they did specify. Oh, well, I did get some morale, and then I lost it again. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Smoke from village catches everyone's attention, and the long short, uh, ships begin to slow. I doubt these scraps of wood were floating on the whole, or floating on can hold anymore, Ivor says. You feel the governor's gaze on you, and he slowly shakes his head. We'll help as many as he can. They may resupply us for our trouble. Uh, you want to take me back on, or take, turn my back on them, and then ignore the village and head down the river. I forgot that the governor was with us. Yeah, him and Bulverk are constant, uh, Hey, now. Yeah. Now that Luden's actually being cool with us. Probably because we're human, though. That's fair. Speciesist. <laughs> um, I say maybe they'll resupply us for our trouble. Like, looking selfishly at it. I feel like the chances are not likely, but one way to find out. You know the way I'm looking at it right now? The governor's looking back on us going, you shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't have done, uh, like, th taking the ships Ooh. and all of this. So I said we just own it. We just go full with it. Be like, yeah, you know what? We're so awesome. We are going to take extra people That's on. That's fair. What was the advice we got? It was either last episode or two episodes ago. It was like, don't trust anyone in yellow or blue. Yeah. It was. We haven't seen that yet, but I want to rem remember. Unless it's Ivor. <laughs> My God. <laughs> um... I don't yeah, know. Right. Maybe we call them out on their shit. You want me to turn my back on them? No, no, no. I was going to say... Which one? The number two. All right, number two it is. Maybe they'll resupply us. Ever Cox and Eyebrow, and who will supply them when they realize their the trade routes are blocked with dredge? You give them a look as if and wave the ships to shore. When the ships land, you and a few others rush toward the smoke, but the closer you get, the stranger the situation. There's no sounds of battle or people panicking to put out fires. Keep going, Bulver growls. We'll see what the dead are carrying. The Varl commits uh, comment and defies tradition, but uh, so do many things about him. Push on village, investigate, turn back to the ships. I mean, I already like this eerie setup, so... We have to go with it. We gotta know what's we gotta going know on. What's there. A barn is the only thing burning. No one is around. Unusual, Udleaf says. Some kind of trick. Feels that way. Let's get back to the ship. Not sure, but let's keep looking for supplies while we're here. Maybe that fire trapped someone else. Sure. That one? Yeah. All right. I feel like there's something unique oh, yeah. in here. No, it, it could either... be, or we're to we are totally falling for a trap. <laughs> well, everyone looks for buckets of water. Some viral carry uh, full yaks, uh, the full yaks truff to douse the barn. The doors in front are all uh, are all smoking soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoking charred remains easily kick open. Unfortunately, there's nothing of note inside. 
After a slow trudge back to the others, Ruga stands aboard the ship, shaking his head. Some thieving bandits ambushed us and took off with the supply ship while you were on your do-good missions, he says. We'll be even more crowded now. <laughs> Glad you're at the helm. Huh. Yeah. It's such a strange scenario, though, to have set up as a trap. Yeah. Also, you know, that must have been a lot of bandits. Yeah, no kidding. Like, it's not as though we sent all of our, what, 600 Just... clansmen, 300 fighters, and 200 varl out to this one little yeah. town? I do feel a little gypped. <laughs> Well, we can talk about how gypped we feel, I guess, in the question of the day. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. Oh, I, 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 that would actually be my question. We have over a thousand people with us now um, on, on this journey, which is a, a bit more than we're used to seeing. Uh, do, do you feel like these same situations should still apply to such a veteran force? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think... Um, Taking your question and kind of um, taking it a little bit further too is, this feels very much like one of those like could be a trick kind of scenario that we would have seen in Banner Saga One, but like you were saying, because we have such a huge group of people now, mm -hmm. can they should they be using those same kinds of like scenarios and tricks on the player that they did in the last game? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so uh, thanks for joining us. And <laughs> um, like, subscribe, please vote at the top if you want to keep this going. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. See y'all then. Bye, everybody.